In this short video, I'm going to share with you three tips from St. Clement of Alexandria on how to fundraise for major donors. Hi, I'm Reese Sokolowski, the founder of CatholicFundraiser.net, a website that is completely dedicated to helping Catholics just like you with your fundraising. Whether you are a lay apostolate, a religious order, parish, diocese, school, university, whatever it may be, even a hermit, you are in the right place. And before we jump into the video talking about St. Clement, make sure that you jump over to my website, catholicfundraiser.net, and download the free book, The Ten Commandments to Catholic Fundraising. The, these are 10 things that I highly recommend that any Catholic should be doing with their fundraising because it's helped me, it's helped thousands of other Catholics, and it's completely free. So make sure that you jump over to catholicfundraiser.net if you're watching this either on uh, my YouTube channel, my website, or uh, my podcast. The link is going to be right below. Make sure that you jump over and get that free book. Okay, St. Clement of Alexandria, and I'm going to be looking at my notes so you can follow along. They're on my website. Um, St. Alexandria, uh, St. Clement of Alexandria was a, he was actually a, um, a church father and smart guy. So third century, very in the beginning, a Greek theologian, and he founded the catechetical school in Alexandria, Egypt, and he is also known for training Origen, who also is a fantastic brain theologian of the Catholic Church. So St. Clement, he's not just anybody, he's incredibly important in the Catholic Church. And I found a really good document from him called, you can find it on New Advent. Uh, that's where, you know, if you're looking for anything church father oriented, go to newadvent.org. And um, he wrote this, um, this letter called, Who is the Rich Man That Shall Be Saved? So he's talking about rich people, and it's a great topic because it's also about major donor fundraising. And reading this article, this letter from him, I found three very important tips that I think are really, really going to help you when it comes to finding major donors. Because let's be honest, finding a major donor is actually going to do um, a whole lot for you. Uh, but there's a Catholic approach to doing it. And I think St. Clement gives us an insight on how you actually approach major donors. It's just not a matter of doing what other fundraisers are doing and saying, find the list, find people based on their property size, their job, etc., and go up and ask them. That is not the Catholic way. And St. Clement tells us specifically, that this is not what you should be doing. Um, and this is what I'm telling you, you shouldn't be doing when it comes to fundraising. So here are three tips from St. Clement himself on how you need to go about doing major donor fundraising. The first thing that you should be doing is you need to remember that the rich are in a very, very difficult position. Don't think about their money. They are in a very, very difficult position. <clears throat> and so I'm reading from St. Clement himself. In his article, he says, um, perhaps the reason of salvation appearing more difficult to the rich than to the poor man is not single but manifold. There's a whole lot of reasons. Um, and one of the things he says, as he quotes Jesus, is it's easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than a rich man it is to enter heaven. Being rich is not something that actually people, you really want. And so if you meet somebody, the first thing that you shouldn't be thinking with, hey, give me a donation. You need to recognize step one, this person is in a difficult situation. Even if they're a good, honest, solid Catholic, you have to recognize that they are in a difficult situation and just recognize that, okay, there's a lot of, there's a lot of pressure with being rich and there's a lot of risk at it. So just step one, you need to be doing that. Step two is you want to help them become poor in spirit. You need to help them detach from material objects. Now you're going to be saying, well, that's why I'm asking them for money. So that way they can just give it to me. And that's, you know, that's being poor in, um, 
you know, in material things, but it's not being poor in spiritual things. Again, I'm quoting St. Clement. But into the impure soul, the grace of God finds no entrance. So you have to remember that even if you want somebody to donate, if, if they have some type of detachment um, on material things, it's going to be hard even for God to be working with them. So sure, you're asking for a donation, but and you're trying to get in there and ask for a donation, but you know, God is trying to get into their soul and help them. So you need to recognize that, hey, I need to help a bigger problem. I need to make sure that God is entering their life. They're becoming um, poor in spirit. So that's number two that you need to be doing. And number three from St. Clement is you need to bring those prospects, those major donors into your mission. Don't just ask. And St. Clement references he references St. Matthew um, and Jesus, you know, he goes into his house he, and he's surrounded by um, some very prominent people. Jesus is not asking them for money or to help them with his ministry. He's listening to them. There's that classic line where the doctor, he comes not for the healthy, but for the sick. So you need to just make sure that you're bringing them into the mission, telling them what you're doing getting them involved. Sometimes volunteering is a really good idea. And so you just want to get them involved, which will help them become poor in spirit. And you're going to be recognizing that maybe they have some difficult situations in their life. Um, and you can help them with that. And these are the steps that are going to help you get to asking for that major donation. Because as always, asking somebody for a donation can and yes, is difficult. There's no way around it. But I think if you do these three recommendations from St. Clement, you're going to be in a better situation when you do want to ask for that major donation. So I hope this has been helpful. Make sure that you leave a comment, like it, share it, share it with a Catholic organization that you think would benefit. And um, yeah, thank you for your attention. God love you. And I will speak to you next week. Bye-bye.